Hey, you know what this sweater actually reminds me of? What? A sexy grandpa. Like, he's got his little cigar, his little mustache, and his whiskey, and he's sitting in his dark, smoky library just hanging out like, I'm cool. Like Sam Elliott or Tom Selleck or something. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Come on. Who doesn't love a moustached elderly gentleman? I for one don't. in love with this pattern. This is our Chotolo crochet cardigan. Chotolo, which I'm sure I am butchering that, please, if someone speaks Italian, holler at us in the comments and let me know how you actually pronounce it. It is the Italian word for pebbles or cobblestones and Michelle Ferguson, who designed this pattern for you, wanted to take that inspiration of beautiful old cobblestone paths and mimic that in the texture of this cardigan. This cardigan is so fabulous. It's got crochet ribbing along the neckline on the cuffs of the sleeves, as well as the hem. And it features that beautiful cobblestone texture throughout the sleeves, as well as the entire body of the cardigan. I also love that it has cute little buttons in the front, which help to complete that sexy grandpa look. And I think this makes a perfect piece to wear every day. Since it's a cardigan, you can toss it on over whatever, and it's gonna be a nice little bit of warmth for you. I think it would be great for all the seasons too. Air conditioning during summer, you could layer it during the fall or spring, and it would just be great in winter as well, just to give you a little bit of warmth. I also love the color changes in this pattern. It's got a beautiful gradient shift, and the color transitions are actually mimicked in the sleeves as well. To create this color transition, you're gonna need three colors of fingering weight yarn. And we opted for our cash silk sock yarn because it's supremely soft from the cashmere, so it's gonna feel amazing on your skin. And it also has a really excellent combination of drape versus structure, which you want in a cardigan like this. And it's gonna hold up really well to lots of love and use. If you would like to download this pattern, it is available at expressionfiberarts.com. And of course, we will link directly to it and the yarn in the description box for you. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a couple of things that I think will help you be successful in making this pattern. The first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is crochet ribbing, which you will find in the sleeve cuffs, the hem, and the neckline of this cardigan. The first thing you'll do is chain 13. For the first row, you're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook and then in each stitch across. To work the next row, you start with a chain one and you turn and you'll see the top of the single crochets have two little legs each. You're gonna work in the back loop only. So that is the loop that is farthest away from you. And single crochet in that first stitch. Now single crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch. And you repeat that all the way across. And what happens when you work only into that back loop is you get little ridges. And that's what's gonna create the illusion of ribbing. And I do recommend as you do this, each row, count how many single crochets you have so that you make sure your ribbing is staying the same width. Then you're just gonna repeat that row as many times as the pattern calls for. I've actually started my own version of this cardigan using our Lester Sport Yarn. And you can see the bottom ribbing for my cardigan. It's nice and stretchy and it just makes such a beautiful professional look. Another thing to know in this pattern is you do work it from the bottom up 
and you will need to know how to mattress stitch the panels together. I've made a couple of little swatches today and I will show you how easy it is to seam them together. To begin your mattress stitch, you're gonna line your two pieces up like so, and you're gonna thread some yarn, you're gonna use the same color yarn onto a darning needle, and I will be using contrasting yarn today just so you can see it a little easier. You'll start by inserting your yarn under both legs of this side, and you're gonna repeat everything you do to this side to the other side. Go ahead and insert your darning needle up through the stitch on this side, and I'll leave it a little bit loose, and I'll cinch it up here in a minute so you can see how it's seamless. Now let's move up to the next stitch, pull the yarn through that, hop over and do the same thing to the other side, insert under both legs of that stitch, then you jump back here. It's sort of like lacing up your shoes, back and forth, back and forth. This is a really great seaming technique for crochet. You can use it in all kinds of projects. It'll be looking something like this, and you'll continue doing that all the way down your piece. And what happens is when you cinch it up, you can pull both ends, and when you've used the same color yarn especially, it is going to completely blend in, and you're gonna have a nice, flat, little invisible seam. So there's a couple tips that I think will help you work this cardigan. I think you're gonna absolutely love this beautiful piece. It's like the most perfect, cozy, luxurious, yet comfy cardigan. I cannot wait to see your version. I'm so excited to see what you come up with, so be sure to show us. We love seeing your projects. If you would like to download this pattern, it is available at expressionfiberarts.com, and of course, we will link directly to it and the yarn in the description box for you. And when you're on the website, be sure to sign up for email updates, and we will send you exclusive coupon codes and free patterns. Thank you so much for being here with me today, friend. I appreciate it and I hope you have a most marvelous day. Be sure to check back next week for another new design. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Hey, baby, you should try it on. No, wait, <laughs> no. No, I couldn't. I, I couldn't possibly. I couldn't possibly do that. You look fabulous, darling. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly. Well, what would the people say? <laughs> well, what would the people say? If the people demand it, I'll do it. <laughs>